Hello, welcome to episode 264. We're going to be modifying sign text, but on the new signs, so 120 plus. Uh, let's pop down a sign. So here's my sign, and it has some wonderful text on it. There we go. There's my lovely sign with some wonderful text on it. Now I want to change something. Okay. I'm going to change, let's just call this change all. So I see this question a little bit. Uh, how do we change the text? Okay, let's point at the sign actually, get its coordinates. Fill, tab, tab, tab. Copy that. And we will data merge into the block at those coordinates. Open and close our curly brackets. Okay, now we want to do front text. Now if it's a hanging sign or a standing sign, you can see the back as well. So you might want to do front text or you might want to do the back text. This sign's on a wall, so not really much point in doing the back text. Maybe it was on a piece of glass, you can see it from the other side. I've never checked that, could be worth checking. Front text, and inside the front text, we want to change the messages. Messages is a list, so square brackets. And in here we have apostrophe, apostrophe, curly brackets, and then we have our normal speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, and we'll put some text in there, and we'll say hello. Okay, now if I press this, nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna do anything, because it's, it's saying, well, if you're gonna merge that data in, I want you to do every line, because I've got four lines and you're only showing me one. So, okay, so we'll do every line, which is a bit tedious. And it does want you to tell it that that's text. You don't have to put anything in the text though, as long as you tell it it is text. And then we'll copy that. So we've got two, we've got three, we've got four. Each one the same, this little bit here, separated by a comma. Okay, done. Now it works. Uh, now clearly there's a problem with this, is I've overwritten all my other lines. Uh, maybe I only wanted to change one line. So. Let's change only one line. And we'll put that there. And we called that one change all. Let's call this one change change one. Done. And I should have the coordinates copied still. So let's just say something else. Let's data. This time though, we're not merging. We are going to modify the block at those one. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, we did copy something, didn't we? Let's get those coordinates again. Pressing tab a lot today, a bit tab happy. Okay, we are gonna add those coordinates. What are we gonna modify? Now the structure's a little bit different now. I want to modify the front text. And dot, not a colon. And I want to modify the messages. And I'm gonna modify the top line. So like the arrays, starts at zero. And I'm going to set it to a value. Can we have just this? I would expect that to not work. No. Okay. We have to... What it really wants is it wants something like this. But you would have to escape these characters. So I'd imagine you'd have to do Alt 92. I don't have that button on my keyboard. And we'd probably have to do one here as well. Now that may well work, but I hate the way that looks. I really do. See, that works. So let's not use that way. Now, Minecraft is rather nice, and it does let us use the apostrophes as well. So we should be able to get away with that. Apostrophe speech marks, then our text. Speech marks, apostrophe. Let's change the text, otherwise we won't know if it's working. Text one. That works. Personally, the way I prefer is to stick to the same format we used before. So I'm going to have the apostrophes, I'm going to have them, and I'm going to have this. There we go. And I will say test three. That's working. Nice. And this also has the advantage now that we can uh, do some extra stuff. So we could pop a color in there. 
red. And if we wanted, we could say um, you're bold as well. True. Okay, so that's good. That's working. Um, let's do a selector. We might as well do a variation of things. So if that's all you came for, you can see the new structure. You're more than welcome to leave. I shall say goodbye. Bye-bye. If you will, keep going on though. I'll do a selector. I'll do a score and I'll do a click event. So let's copy that entire block, paste it down, copy the sign, pop it on, and we'll call this one the selector. So we've got all the same stuff here before. Modify the block, add those coordinates, front arrow, front text messages, but I'm going to change this number one. We'll change a different line. Set value. Okay, let's do a selector. So we will just change this from a text. In fact, let's clear away the extra formatting. We don't we don't need that getting in the way confusing us. So we're back to our apostrophe, curly brackets apostrophe. And we'll put in our speech marks, speech marks, colon speech marks. And this is going to be a selector. Who am I going to select? I'm just going to select uh, the nearest player. That's going to be me, isn't it? So it should put my name. Cool. On line number. So line zero, line one, line two, line three. There we go. And again, if you want to, you can then put in the extra formatting. Maybe we try italic. Uh, there we go. We'll try italic. Does that work? Yeah, now my name's in italic. Cool. Uh, let's do, let's put another one of these down. Put a bit on there. Change one. We're going to do a score. I'll need a score first to display. So scoreboard objectives add. Uh, let's call it my score. It's going to be a dummy. Scoreboard players set me my score to seventeen. Don't know why, but seventeen will do. Okay. Let's remove all the extra formatting again. Let's go back to a nice fresh apostrophe, curly brackets, apostrophe. Right, so we're going to have a score. Uh, that goes like that. So we say score. And in there we want bump, 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 bump. Some of them. First one is going to be the name. Well, who's holding that score? What's their name? And what score do you want to get from that person? So we called our score my score, so that's what we want in there. Name, I could put internal device, that should work. Let's change the line we're displaying it on as well. Let's display it on line two. Done. There's my 17, so that's definitely working. Okay, let's change my score, just so we know it's updating. We'll have three this time. Instead of saying hard coding a name, we can also use the selector in here. So we'll say nearest player. Cool, now we've got the three. And lines can be different colors. They don't all have to be the same color. So can we put a bit of color in there? Green. There we go, that's definitely working. Okay, let's just do, uh, let's do a click event. So we'll just put the uh, block down again, put that sign on there. This will be a click event. Done, get a button, pop it on top. Let's clear out all the old stuff. So we're back to nice and fresh. Let's change the line we're editing. We're gonna edit the last line now, number three. So a click event. First we want some, some text. Let's put a bit of text text. Let's go along so you can see a bit better. Uh, click me. Okay, there's our text. Then we will have another entry. This will be like score. We're going to have speech by speech marks colon open and close those curly brackets and inside those we'll have that again. So we don't want score, we want click event. Watch out for that capital E. Okay, so you click me. What 
action do you want me to take? Okay, well, I want you to run the command. Okay, and what is the value of that command? Let's do something. Let's do a little TP. TP nearest player. Uh, and we'll use relative coordinates. Let's do TP nearest player two blocks up and see what we expect to happen. Well, expect me to be TP, but where am I going to be teleported to is the question. Two blocks up. Set the sign. Well, we've definitely got the text. Okay, let's just clear my inventory. And I clear chat. Now, if I click on the sign back here, do I just jump two in the air? No. So, it is detecting the nearest player to the sign and it's using the signs coordinates as the relative coordinates. So it's teleported me two blocks above the sign. So I guess I'm going, so we've got one block, two blocks. I guess I'm going up here. Okay, we can change that. Instead of TP, instead of TPing at P, we can TP at S. At S is much better. The result is gonna be the same, but at S is the person who clicked on the sign. Which means, if I'm standing here, and I'll, I don't know, Infernal Minion is standing there. Now if I click on the sign, it's still me that gets teleported. Using at P, he would have been teleported, which seems a bit unfair. But I want to go, I just want to jump up in the air. I don't want to get sucked towards the sign. So, we'll just change that. We will execute at me run that should do it execute at my position not at the signs position my position or the position of the person who clicked on the sign teleport that player well, let's try this there we go now i'm just bouncing up from my position okay that'll do we don't need to take much more time and be any longer about that any questions just chuck them down in the comments and i will see you next time take care bye bye